In this video, we're going to verify similarity and find scale factors. Verify that the following figures are similar by finding the indicated scale factor between each corresponding pair of sides. So first we're asked to complete the table by finding the indicating ratios to determine the scale factors between the figures. So these two figures are similar and we're told that, but we're going to verify it by finding a scale factor. So you probably have an idea of what something being to scale means. So you could make a model of a ship, okay, and it could be small, but the general dimensions of the ship are the same relative to the actual size ship, and then we say it's to scale. And mathematically, when things are to scale, it means that there's a scale factor or a number that you could multiply each of the sides by to get the corresponding sides in the similar figure. And that scale factor is a constant. It's the same for all of the sides. And that's what we're going to find now. So first we're asked to find the ratio of the shortest side of figure B to the shortest side of figure A. Well, this is the shortest side of figure B, and this is where the corresponding shortest side of figure A. So the ratio is 6 to 3 which is 2. Now we're going to find the ratio of the longest side of figure B to the longest side of figure A. So here's our longest side of figure B. Here's the corresponding side of figure A. And the ratio is 10 over 5, which is 2. And finally, the medium side, the side left over of figure B to the medium side of figure A. Well, we have 8 to 4, and that ratio simplifies to 2. Okay. So now we can say figure B is, well, to get from figure A to figure B, it's 2 times as large as figure A. So if we wanted to scale figure A to the size of figure B, we'd multiply the length of each side of figure A by the scale factor of 2. So looking at this diagram, to get from 3 to 6, we multiply by 2. These sides correspond. If I wanted to scale up to figure B from A, I'd multiply 4 by 2. And for this side, I would multiply 5 by 2 to get 10. Now we're asked to complete the table by finding the indicated ratios, and we're going to compare figure A and figure B, but in the reverse direction. So the ratio of the shortest side of figure A to the shortest side of figure B. So that would be 3 to 6. And 3 to 6, that ratio simplifies to 1 half. For the longest side, have 10 and 5. So we want to start with figure A, so we'll put 5 over 10. You'll notice that is also 1 half. And figure A's medium side is 4, and B is 8, so we have 4 to 8, which also equals 1 half. So this means figure A is 1 half times as large as figure B. And to scale figure B to the size of figure A, so if we were starting with figure B and we wanted to make a scale the size of figure A, we would multiply each side of figure B by the scale factor of 1 half. So 10 times 1 half, half of 10 is 5, half of 8 is 4, and half of 6 is 3. So because all of these scale factors match up, and they matched up in the reverse direction, they were reciprocals, okay, we have verified that these figures are in fact similar because they have the same scale factors for every corresponding uh, pair of sides.